Hello everybody, it's Mystic and welcome back to my library. This is episode six of Let's Play Planet Zoo and it's been a while since I've played this actually. I took a little bit of a break last week because I was getting my kids ready to go back to school and whatnot. They had been home doing distance learning for the last year and we're back at school now so it took me a little while to get everything set up. Um, I am getting an alert that Emma, Emma Simak is aging up. I almost said leveling up. Also, she's pooping, so that's rude of me. Um, what else do we have going on? Uh, oh, one thing that I was getting a comment about or a couple of comments about is that I don't actually have to worry about inbreeding with the bugs. The bugs apparently, or the, not just the bugs, but the exhibit animals in general actually don't care if they're inbred. So... I don't need to only keep one of them at this point. I can just keep breeding the good ones and not worry about lower quality. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to keep also, wow, we've had a lot of them staying for a while. So here, this is the mom. So we'll get rid of the mom, but we're going to keep Baruti and Th Thandaway. And they'll be our two new um exhibit breeding pair for the titan beetles or goliath beetles goliath beetles uh we also have new red-eyed tree frogs so we'll keep hmm let me see well actually here send send the ones over to the trade center that i already know about and i'm gonna sell them oops there we go quick trade for some monies and um why don't I hear anything? Is it really low? I don't hear any music. I don't want it to be too loud, but I don't hear anything. Okay, now I hear something. I don't actually know if that's me or if it's the game. Okay, well anyway, now we have the two there. I still have to sort through the frogs. And see which of the females I want to keep. Um, okay, so this is the baby. Let's see what she looks like. Hello? There we go. She's got a 67 fertility. Her mom has... Okay, so we're going to keep her and probably her dad. Let's say 67... 83. Oh, actually, no. We want these two. Okay. Now I hear stuff. I could not hear anything before. So hopefully it's not too loud now. If it is, I'll just fix it in the next episode. It doesn't look like it's too loud, though. Like, I was barely seeing anything pop up before. Okay. Uh, so they're all taken care of. What, what are we getting? They're stressed. See, this is what I was worried about with them. But they should have a place to hide. I am working on the mechanics uh, research so that they can get the one-way glass. We're actually almost there. We only have one and a half levels to get through. And then we can do that. So we're getting there. And, okay, so Llama is about to mature. As soon as I get the one-way glass, they'll be lots happier. Oh, and the he's here. He's here, so he's actually doing his job this time. Yeah, he's here. Many guests think tickets are underpriced. Hey, well, that's excellent. Let's, uh, let's upgrade. Oops, did not mean to do that. Okay, so the llama has matured, which means... Now, I think llamas actually like having a large group. And there should be plenty of room here. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of room. Oh, no. Their social is actually fine. But I'm thinking that maybe I will just adopt a female, like a new male. And then just put these guys on contraceptives. Right? Because she's, is she bronze? She's not. What is her, what is her stuff looking like here? Uh, social, what am I looking at? Genealogy is kind of what I wanted to see. This is the, see, I'm not quite sure how this whole genetic identity thing works. Um, 
If anybody can explain it to me now, I did, I did take biology in college and genetics was a lot of fun, but honestly, it has been a hot minute since I have been in college and I don't remember what, well, I, and I also don't think, I don't know, like, I don't remember how all of this works. So if anybody could explain it to me so that I know for the future, that'd be great. Um, yeah, I don't know that I really want to get rid of the parents unless I have a goal to, no, I don't have a goal to put them in the wild. So I think I kind of want to keep them. Let me see what it says on here and see if I can have multiples. I don't want them inbreeding though. So I got to make sure I put the parents on contraceptives at the very least. Uh, or at least the father. Let's see. Natural habitat, species data. Oh, oh, up to 30 males and up to 30 females. Yeah, we could totally just have social hierarchy is constantly in flux based on small fights. Okay, so they're polygynous, confident with humans, and guests can enter their habitats. Ooh, they might be cool to have as a like a petting zoo area at some point. Not quite ready to start messing with that yet, though. Um, natural habitat. Okay, so we can definitely just add a male. We don't have to get rid of the parents yet. Um, but I do want to put the father at the very least on contraceptive. So we're going to do that so that he doesn't impregnate his daughter. Um, but she doesn't necessarily have to go on contraceptives. Like who cares if she gets pregnant by the new male? It doesn't really matter. They don't care. They're not um, monogamous, so it doesn't matter. All right, so let's look for a male llama that is going to work well with Imasamox genetics. Um, let's see. I'm going to just use these numbers for now because, like I said, I don't really know what the codes mean. I should really look it up after this episode because I'm sure somebody has a guide for it online. But let's see. Do we have any males? Oh, none of them are going to be very good. Okay. Really? There's nothing else? Why can't I click this one? I can't click this one. Oh, there we go. E. Okay. So not you. That's for sure. Do I want to just wait? Because these guys stink. I might just wait. I'm going to check again later. Because I don't like any of those. All right. So the Xiao Shang is about to age up. Uh, I guess that's her right here. Because they're pretty small. But I think that one's even smaller. I think she's hiding in a bush right now. Because she doesn't like people. Don't blame her. Um, where is she? They only had one baby, right? Yeah, Xiao Shang. Oh, she's gold. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let me check what it says about them because I could always just add another pangolin to the mix too. All right. So Chinese pangolin species data. Up to three males and up to three females. So technically I could have just a male added and that would be fine as well. But I would just want to, I would just want to put him, Didi, on contraceptives because I don't want him getting Shaoxiang pregnant. But I, I mean, again, it doesn't really matter if Mei Yang is or not. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, look at those numbers. Okay, let's see what I can find for pangolins. Oh, wait a minute. We've got more llamas. Where'd these guys come from? They weren't there a second ago. Llama. They're not great, though. I still might wait. Yeah, I think I'm still going to wait. Let's check the pangolins. Chinese pangolins. Okay. Oh. How old are you? Oh, you're young. Do I have the... I don't have the CC. No. All right, what are these other guys looking like here? Hello? Please let me click. No, no, no. This guy's great. I don't have the CC. I don't think I can have, I don't think I have anybody that I can 
put in the wild either at the moment. Do I? I don't think so. And I'm not ready to send my babies there. Oh, wait. Wait. Say hi, and then I'll have enough. Thanks. Thanks for being here, friend. Okay. Please be there still. Yes. Because this guy's pretty good. Okay. I'm going to send him to... Oh my god, I forgot about the brown bears again. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, Where am I bringing them? Which quarantine is set up for them? It probably doesn't matter. We're going to just send them there. Okay. That research is done on the buffalo. Bison, rather. Uh, oh, Himalayan brown bears. Okay, so... This is grasslands, this is taiga, this is tropical. I was going to set up something for the brown bears this episode. Uh, so let's see, I think they are in taiga, but let me just double check because I'll probably be setting them up. That way I can actually get them out of my inventory there. Uh, habitat, taiga and tundra. So they could go either way. They're critically endangered. We can only have one of each. But there's no dominance. Okay. One male, one female. All right. And then how much space? 550. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to... Since I'm starting to have it loop around, I think I'm going to put them over here. What barrier size do they need? They need four. They need climb proof. So I think I'm going to use the concrete like I did with the llamas because I like the way it looks. Uh, where the heck is it? That's brick. Concrete? Grade six, not climbable. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to attach it probably over here. That's definitely not what I wanted. There we go. Uh, I could have this curve, couldn't I? Couldn't I? That way it looks a little bit, I don't know, more flowing. All right, let's see. By the way, I did not get a chance to stream this yet. I'd still like to at some point. I just, I need more time. <laughs> I need more time. Um, You know what I think I might do? I'm gonna just turn, because this is not gonna be strong enough for a dang bear. So let's uh, let's do that and then turn this into Concrete. Nope, that is the null barrier, Mystic. That is absolutely not what you want. There you go. Okay. Didn't I color this? Did I? No, it actually doesn't look like it was colored. Okay. Um, That might need to be a little bigger, actually. Also, hmm, I need a path. Oh, wait, there is a path. Um, I guess I could have it connect right there. Let me get a door on. I hope that this works. Nope, not that, that kind of door. I'm thinking a metal door would probably be the smarter move here. Path. There. And I think they can get there. I don't see why not. All right, how big is this? 932, that's perfect. Um... And then how tall does it have to be? Hmm. 6.6 6 feet. So it definitely needs to be taller than it is at the moment. Right? Ye I think. A little bit taller, yeah. That should be good. It might be a little too tall, but I mean, honestly, you can't be too safe with a bear. Uh, all right. Do I want it to kind of come out a little bit this way, though? Because I feel like it should be a little bit bigger. It's not, I don't know, the way like the way I kind of want to have this go is I want to have it, first of all, let's make it curve and let's make it a little longer like this. Yeah, there. I mean, it's it's a little bit bigger now. 
I think I like that. How much space? Yeah, they have plenty of space now. And I kind of want to make like a cave area over here. Now I do have, that's an aquatic habitat. Don't I have a cave? Or maybe I don't anymore because I don't know if I kept, no, I did keep my, because these are, these are all downloads. So there should be, I thought I, I thought I kept like a, like an Arctic wolf habitat. That's a penguin shelf. Here it is. I wonder if it'll count for them because this is kind of what I wanted. Although they could totes climb out of that, can't they? Yeah. Um. Hmm. How do I want to build this? I'm not great at building like cave areas. Um, can I build it out of rocks? We need tundra and taiga rocks. So biome, taiga, tundra, and I need rocks. I think those are taiga. I don't really want, I want these. So like, I wonder if I can make this work with just rocks. Like I said, I'm not great. At, at building in this game. I don't want them all to be the same kind of rock either. Well, that's small. But they can still climb this. Which is kind of a worry. I'm trying to get it to look as much like a cave as possible. Is it sticking out? It is. All right, I don't want it to be sticking out. There. But then I don't like that. All right, we're gonna move it, we're gonna rotate it. No, you know what, I don't like that one there. All right, hang on, let me get rid of it all together. And that's the same one. I actually need smaller ones on that side there. So let's just put this over here. I hope I'm building it big enough. Like that. I might just stick that wall out a little bit. Okay, I'll go like this. Just kind of want it to look natural, even though I've, I've, I don't know. There, and maybe put another one here. All right, I mean, it's, it's starting to come along. Okay, I just want to make sure I have plenty of room. I kind of want it to be a little taller. You know what? I think I'm going to start speeding through some of this because I don't want to take my entire video just me talking about rocks. So I'll meet you back in a little bit after I speed through some of this. All right. I mean, that's not too bad. I'm just a little worried that they're going to be able to climb out of here. Um, and if they do, I'm going to have to play with that. Uh, but I think that's pretty good. I, it's not perfect. I'm like I said, I'm not an expert builder in this game, as is obvious. But um, it's not too bad for, you know, a beginner at this. I'll, I'll try and make it look a little nicer later. But I think that should be enough room for the bears. And so, okay, so that'll be, that'll be their cave. And then I just need to get the rest of the habitat squared away. Um, we are going to probably need coolers because they like it cold 
They are taiga animals after all. I'm wondering if I should stick a cooler like in the cave, like up here somewhere. Like that. It's in the wall, but it's fine. We'll set it to like five. Well, no, we'll set it to zero. I think they probably like it pretty cold. Let me see what it says. I mean, if they live in the tundra, oh yeah, they like it cold. Okay. I mean, they're bears. So, okay. So we got all that. Um, what else? We want food, obviously. Uh, we'll do arboreal. And water. And enrichment. Okay, we actually have a fair amount of enrichment for them already. So we'll put some stuff there. Grab. No, we don't. Oh my god. Mystic! You're not even searching. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Himalayan brown bear. I was gonna say, wait, they don't use grab balls. All right. Food. They actually want this kind of food. All right. Ooh, it reflects. That's cool. And here. Okay. And then enrichment. They obviously still like that. That was... Yeah. Um, get a rubbing pillar. Do they have any food? Oh, yeah. It's actually... That is that is the food one. All right. And then toys. I got a rubbing pillar and... How about a scent marker? We'll put that right there. I know they're going to need some trees. I'll deal with that in a sec. Um, I'm going to need some education stuff. So we'll get that together. Yeah, my only concern is that they're going to be able to get out through there. But I'll I'll mess with that in a little bit. I can, I can check it once they're actually in the enclosure. Um, but for now, let me just get this all together. Put one there, put one there, put one over here, one here. Now, where are the other education spots? Because I don't, whoops. Oh God. All right. I don't want to have the speakers be near that. So I've got to make sure they're far enough away. One there. Oh wait, no, not there. One here, one over here should be fine. And then we can put it in, I think I should be able to fit it right there. I'll see in a sec, it might overlap. I'll have to play with that. And I also need more of these. Okay, that should be good. Now we just need to hire a staff member I think I should only need a keeper. I think I can handle everything else, or the people that I've already got should be able to handle it. Um, so let's add you. You go here, here. Where's the keeper hut? Keeper hut, okay. Himalayan brown bear keeper. No, I didn't capitalize the K, okay. I've also got to name the habitat. Hang on. Hello. Himalayan brown bear. Okay. Here we go. Um. Oh, and then I've got to add the vets and the mechanics. Um, I just have to actually change the work zone. So this is mechanic entrance. So that goes there and vet entrance goes here. Do I not have a vet for grass? Oh no, wait, I have it under grasslands vet. Let me rename that to vet grasslands so I can just keep everything organized. Um, all right, we should be good. Now I just need to get them moved. Animals, no, uh, animal trading. Okay, uh, move. We gotta put them into quarantine. Hello? 
there room for another one? I know that the other bear is still... Or the pangolin is still in there, too. Oh, no, I guess they can all fit. Okay. How much longer until the pangolin is done? Oh, wait, I haven't even put the pangolin in there yet. Okay. So I can't actually check and see if this is going to be a climbing issue yet. Um, I also really don't like how that looks. I kind of want to fix it. There. That's better. Okay. I mean, really, it's not that bad looking of a cave. <laughs> it's it's not. Okay. Um, what else do we have to do? I think, I think we're good. I was starting to build some stuff over here. Like I started getting some of these decorated. I really need to finish it. I also need to get a few more benches and stuff around, probably some more garbage cans. Let's actually take a look at what is bugging the guests right now. So there's some trash over here. I don't think the guests can see any of that. It's just a few areas with some trash, but really there's not too much right now. So I should probably just get a couple more trash cans. And it wouldn't hurt to get some more benches too. I really wish my stomach would stop growling. It has been doing this for like the last hour and I ate. It's just, I don't know. Like, please stop. I fed you. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Okay, maybe I'll add a bench over here. Oh, you know what? I don't have... I don't have any windows on that. Well, they're also not in there yet, so it's not a big deal. Let's actually add a couple of trash cans over here, too. There. And we are going to turn this into another food court area at some point. Just waiting for them to tell me that things are ready. Um... How come I can't... Okay, yes, I would love to, but it's not letting me choose the animal. What the heck? Hang on. Oh, there we go. Wait, stop. I'm not trying to edit it. I just got them to show up. There we go. Okay. You... Get moved... To here... And then you and you get moved to here. Okay. Oh, wait, that one wasn't done yet. Whoops. Well, it should be done by the time they get there. Okay, yeah, she's good. Okay. Okay, so we got a pangolin incoming. And then we got two bears incoming. And then I can start putzing around with this habitat and making sure it looks good. Okay. Pause. Okay, so the shelter counts. So hooray, I didn't screw that up. We need some snow in here. And actually, they really like snow. So I'm just going to paint the whole thing in snow. So we'll do that. And I'm sure they're going to need some trees, which I will work on momentarily. I should probably make this a little bigger if I'm painting the whole dang thing. Let's just do this. Okay, snow. Um, I might need another, another cooler. I'll have to play with that in a sec. All right, so we got that. Oh yeah, they like plants. Okay, so nature. We're going to keep that because it's Tundra Taiga and Asia. So we're going to get this and 
plants. Okay, so we're gonna get some trees. What kind of trees do we got? Well, that's a cute tree. I kind of want a bigger one though. And no saplings. These are bears. They want big trees. Oh, there's not a lot to choose from here. Oh, wait here. Himalayan birch. Himalayan pine. And maybe we'll put another couple. What else do we have? We can get another one of these. Is this a bigger one? And maybe I'll get one more of those yellowish ones. Uh, maybe not that big. And then crowberry bush. Maybe I'll stick these along the side here. Just to like make it look a little nicer along the edge. There. I think that looks pretty good. Oh, and now that I've got this, I gotta see. I gotta see. Hold on. Um, habitat, animal welfare. Is it habitat? Oh, good. They can't climb it. They can't climb it. They can't get out. Okay, good. Excellent. Because I was worried about that, and I don't think I have to worry about that now. All right, so they're in good shape. Uh, the only other thing I need to see is the temperature. I'm thinking I might want to put one more cooler here-ish, just because there's a little spot here where it's not fully covered. Um, so let's get like one more and put it here. And then I think the whole thing should be covered. Okay, now I need windows because there are no windows and nobody can see them. So we'll put two here. We'll put two like this. And then I'm gonna just skip the ones where the um, education board is and maybe no there's no point in putting one there okay actually let's just there okay now I have to put in the education signs and the speakers and I have to have a vet research them but otherwise I think I think we're good. I'm also gonna wanna make sure none of the speakers are overlapping each other. So I'll do that in a sec as well. Let's just get all these in like so. Okay. Land brown bear and then there's one. Actually, you know what? There's no point in having this speaker here. There's nothing they can see. All right. That should be good. Now let's just make sure none of them overlap. I think we're good. All right. Do I want to put another one over here? I don't actually think it's going to overlap if I... Hang on. I'm trying to click on you. If I put you right here, there will not be an overlap. So we'll do that. Okay. What vets are currently not busy? Most of them. All right. So which of these vets are situated at the entrance? Um, we've got Erland. Oh, we only have one vet for the entrance? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're gonna get one more vet. Pause for a sec. You're gonna go vet entrance. And then who's that? Dolores and Erland are the entrance vets. Okay. 
So we'll start researching them. And then somebody's got to start researching the iguana. Where is the iguana? Oh, the iguana's over here. So then the, no, the grassland vet is actually already busy with the bison, but none of my tropical vets are currently busy. So I could have them do it. Yeah, vet tropical, Adam can do it. There. Okay. So I think I've got everybody working on stuff now. That should be good. Cool. All right. I need to also start building out this area here. Got another thing for the bison. Um, don't I have a goal to get my llama education up. Oh, it's actually almost there. Okay. Oh, dang, it's starting to get real crowded over there. I might have to fix something. I don't know how, but I'm gonna fix it at some point. Because this is the entrance and we're just getting all jumbled up here. I should have made this path wider. But alas, I didn't. I guess I could start building out more of this over here. Like the bathrooms. Oh, oh my gosh. You know what? We could stand to get more bathrooms. Hang on. Guest facilities. Do I have any pre-built pre bathroom areas yet? Aside from like the standard one? I don't. Okay. I should just get a second bathroom. Because we are... We only have one set of bathrooms right now. I don't think that's enough. So let's edit this. And then we're going to just put in another set over here. And then maybe one more on the other side too. There. Okay. Okay. What's up? Low welfare. Social. Stress. Wait, you? You're not supposed to get stressed. Stressed over what? Distressed and trying to hide? Since when do reindeer get stressed? Hang on. Hang, hold up. Hold up. What's happening? Why are you stressed? What am I looking at here? I need to go to reindeer. Reindeer. Um, they don't, they don't care about guests. Why are they stressed? Wait a minute. Low welfare animal is stressed. They are not supposed to be getting stressed. There are a lot of people watching them though. Hmm. I've never seen the reindeer get stressed before. Is that a bug? I feel like that shouldn't be happening. Hmm. I don't know why they're stressed. I've I've never seen them get stressed before. I mean, I'm close to getting one-way glass, so I could just change it. There are a lot of people watching them right now. I guess I don't blame them for being stressed. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Until I get one-way glass, I'm just going to put up a wall so that they can't see anyone. And hopefully that'll help. It'll just be a temporary fix until I can get one way glass. But I wasn't expecting them to get stressed from this. There. I, th I think that'll help. At least for now. Let's see. It should provide a little bit more cover for them. Let's just hurry up and get that um, research done so that I don't have to worry about this. Um, oh, I'm still looking for a llama for her. That research is complete. What is this one for? Let's see. 
Oh, Himalayan brown bear already. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I need to see if I can get a better llama. Probably not because I am out of CC. Um, let me just see though. I'm going to have to use actual money instead of conservation credits. Oh, there's a lot of boys available right now. Oh, he's not too bad. He's the only other one available for money. Yeah, you know what? He's not that bad. Let me just take a look at her real quick. How come I still can't click on them? Is that her? Yep. Actually, that's not too bad. It could be better, but I don't really have another option right now. So, yeah, this is fine. Go ahead. Okay, I think putting that wall up seemed to help because they're starting to lose their stress. Like, they're hiding behind the wall now and their stress is going down. So this is fine. It'll be a fine, it'll be a good fix until I can get one-way glass and then I can fix that. I am really regretting not making this path wider. And I'm trying to think of how to mitigate the um, tie-up over here without getting rid of the path. I don't think that there's a way to make it bigger. So I'm going to have to either take it down and put up a bigger one or somehow make like side paths just to ease up the congestion here, which I could do because I do have space here to put in some extra side paths. Like have them go like this and like this just to break up this congestion right here. So I guess I can try that. And I might just do it. Now, see, it's not too congested at the moment, but... Or, you know what I could do? I could connect it. Can I connect it from here? I can't. I can if I want it looking real ugly. All right, well, hang on. First of all, it doesn't need to be 10. So if I go like this, and then I connect these... That should ease up a little bit on the congestion. Because now people can go this way instead of that way. That that should help a little bit. And I can put something in the middle here. Yeah, that should be all right. All right, so now we have four llamas. What's up? You're probably stressed, right? There's nothing I can do about that until I get one-way glass. Wait, what? Too many adults. Oh. I didn't... I didn't realize... I thought it said that they could have up to, like... Hang on. What did it say about the pangolins? I thought it said that they could have more than that. It says too many adults, but that's not supposed to be the case. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's up to three. So we have four. Okay, that's the problem. I need to I need to sell off probably the dad because he's already um, on contraceptives anyway. Let's see. Where is he? Probably would be a lot easier to just find him in the zoo keep in the zoo list. Let's just do it that way. All right. Uh Dee Dee. Yeah, Dee Dee, I am gonna have to sell you. Unfortunately, I can't send you to the wild, but that's okay. Animal trading. Quick trade. Okay, so that should help that out. Yeah, it helped. Okay, cool. So now there's three adults. Oh, and we have beetles. Have we had any other babies? No? Oh my god. Alright, that's a lot of beetles. Hold up. I need to pause. Okay. And go down to Goliath Be Oh my god, what happened? Where, where did all these beetles come from? Okay. Um, You're the mom. Alright, so you can go. I'm going to sell off all of the low quality ones for now. Okay. Send to Trade Center. And then 
I have no idea where all of these beetles came from. They must have had more babies when I wasn't looking. Oi, okay. I need to look through the rest of these to see. Oh my god, there's so many of them. All right. Oh, we got a 100 fertility. Okay. And another 100. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh, babies must have had babies. So I'm going to sell off the older ones then. What are you looking like here? You're a 100 fertility. What about you? You're a 100 fertility. Okay, so let's just... Well, actually, hold on. Is anybody a 100-100? Because if anybody is a 100-100, they have to stay. 67. Nope. Okay, I don't think I've got any 100-100s. Okay. So then Latasha and Chiansu could stay. Are they both 67-100s? Because I think that's the highest I have. Yeah. So the rest of these guys can go. Did it actually send them? Yes. Okay. Quick trade. Oh my gosh. I just made so much money off of that. So yeah, you guys are right. I don't need to... I don't need to get new ones each time. They don't care about inbreeding. Um... Do I have any more of these? No, I already checked that. What about the iguanas? Anything going on over here? No, excuse my stomach. I still don't know if you can hear it, but it's driving me crazy. I think I'm going to end here and uh, grab myself a snack or something, because apparently I am still hungry. Um, but yeah, I think things are going really well. Um, we now have our bears all set up. I actually built a cave, sort of, and... Uh, yeah, I'll be working probably more on building next time. I kind of want to make these buildings look nicer. So I think that's going to be my goal next time because I think I'm good with adding animals for the moment. Obviously, I'm going to be adding a whole heckin' lot more later, but I kind of want to start making the zoo a little bit more spruced up before I do any more animal adding. So that'll be the next plan. But hopefully you enjoyed. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitch. I do stream there once or twice. Well, actually more like twice a week. Now, um, I've mostly been playing Rune Factory 4, but I will probably take a break from that every now and then and play like Planet Zoo or something else. Um, so yeah, you can follow me there. You can follow me on Twitter. You can join the Discord and you can become a channel member here, which as always is completely optional, $4.99 a month. And yeah, hopefully you all have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.